From the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point, this is your SPTV News with Chris Watkins and Milica Mitrovic. The Cupboard is a program located in the DUC that is dedicated to helping feed students who may not have enough money to buy food for themselves. It originally started for students who are going through financial um, problems and financial um, needs. So um, students can come in and we swipe their card to confirm that they are a student and then they can get food. Um, because a lot of times students are paying for the tuition and gas and books and all these other things and they don't have money for food. And so we were there for them and we helped them get food. The project has grown in size since its inception in 2011 and has become almost self-sustaining. We do get all of our food donated, most of it donated. So we can't really control what we get, but we can control what we put out on the shelves and what and the students see when they come in. Last semester we had about 500 students come in um, and that was yeah about 500 students and that um, is um, estimated to increase this semester be just because of awareness of the resource and awareness that we're there. The cupboard is open every Monday through Wednesday and is run by volunteers. We have 15 or 16 volunteers each semester and they volunteer one one hour each week and they they go into the cupboard, they put food away. They are basically running the cupboard, which is awesome. Um, and they greet clients that come in and make sure they understand um, how to use the cupboard and how often they can come and that sort of thing. Along with giving food to students in the DUC, the cupboard also holds food drives throughout the semester. For SPTV, I'm Noble Runman. It's everyone's favorite holiday this Sunday. 
Well, mostly for couples, that is. Each year, it seems like more and more people are hating on the love-filled day. So I made it my mission to seek out people who still think it's something worth celebrating. What are you doing this Valentine's Day? I am so single, so I get to work here. I will be bartending until close on Sunday. Well, I think Valentine's Day is a special day. You can do something special all year for your sweetie. My husband and I have been married 45 years, but on Valentine's Day, if you do something just out of the order, it doesn't have to be a card, do something thoughtful, I think that's very important, and I think it is important. But yes, they do up the price of flowers and candy and dinner, but maybe take the person out the day after Valentine's Day or the day before. So for our Valentine's Day, my boyfriend and I are going to be going to dinner together. He actually works in the morning, so we don't get to spend the entire day, but um, just a nice simple dinner at Olive Garden, just kind of being together and celebrating this day. It's not going to be spectacular, but it's going to be nice to just be me and him. For SPTV News, I'm JJ Luther. This past Tuesday and Wednesday at the SIEO Blood Drive, those who were done donating were given the opportunity to create cards to be delivered to Alzheimer's patients at a nursing home in Portage County. Markers, glitter, and other supplies were available to decorate the cards. Some students are motivated to donate blood because of its benefits to the community. We love to encourage students to give blood because not only is it considered one hour of volunteering, which looks good on resumes, but it also saves three lives because each donation can save up to three lives. Um, and it's a great way to give back to the community. It's super easy, it takes only about an hour, and there's free food and usually some fun activity to do afterwards. A UWSP student spoke about why it is important to participate in the blood drive. I think everyone should donate blood just because it's such a necessity and that um, it's really needed like, throughout the U.S. even like, throughout the world. It's just a good and easy thing to do. It only takes about 45 minutes, half an hour. And just, it's a good way to get back. Many students say it's a great way to make new friends and see familiar faces from all over campus. I've just heard like interesting stories of like how like a small world it can be on the campus. You know, people walking in, it's like, oh, hey, oh, hi, and, you know, you're giving blood, too. Oh, my gosh. Like, I didn't know you did this. And just kind of, like, unexpected meetings. Each academic year, there are four blood drives. Two per semester, one with the American Red Cross, and one with the Blood Center of Wisconsin. Reporting for SPTV News, I'm Rachel Ellis. Are you interested in pursuing a career in animals or just looking for a way to help preserve wildlife? 
then the Wildlife Society might be just for you. As one of the largest organizations at UWSB, you will have your chance to help in projects that study and preserve animals, network with professionals, and meet like-minded people. Join us Tuesdays at 5 p.m. and join the Wildlife Society today. My name is Lance Caster. I graduated from UW Stevens Point in 2014. I started at SPTV my junior year. I was looking for a fun experience that also provided me with a chance to learn something, and SPTV was the place to come. Right now, I'm employed at WFRV TV, the CBS affiliate located in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I, I can handle it because of what I was able to learn here at SPTV. You can be as creative as you want here. The only limits are those that you put on yourself. Those limits will. Now, Curtis Round with your SPTV Sports. Wednesday night, the UWSP women's basketball team hosted its ninth annual Play for K Pink Game against Cancer in partnership with Project Embrace at St. Michael's Foundation and the Women's Basketball Coaches Association. Every penny that we raise stays local and goes over to Project Embrace. Since the event began in 2008, the team has raised over $40,000 in the fight against cancer. This year, the team raised $6,000 through a brat fry, pancake breakfasts, and silent auctions throughout the season donated by local businesses. Cancer, it, it doesn't care who you are, what age you are, um, it, it'll get you. And in order to be able to have uh, people fight and have people generously give their money for us to help others that are going through that fight really means a lot to our players. 
Participating in this event is something players and coaches look forward to every year. It's really, really important that we, UWSP Women's Basketball, finds a way to give back to this community for all the support that they give us from November until March. And this is just a great way for us to do that. Our players love it. They just absolutely love this game. The game is especially important for sophomore guards Mickey and Lexi Rowland, as their grandparents are both cancer survivors. Having a game like the pink game really affects both of us in a way that both of our grandparents um, that were at the game last night that survived for cancer, from cancer has really allowed that game to impact us in like a positive and emotional way. Prior to the game, the team recognized cancer survivors and caretakers by having players and coaches escort them onto the court to a standing ovation. The walk before the game was a little bit emotional knowing so many people have been affected by cancer, but it also gave us that little motivation to want to like win that game as well. I think it was important to have the walk out before the game just to recognize not only cancer survivors that we know personally, but also the caretakers that were at the um, Michaels Hospital right next to campus to see their like support. And I just think it was really important to, to recognize all those people. For next year's Play for K game, the Pointers hope to exceed this year's total and continue to spread awareness in the fight against cancer. For SPTV Sports, I'm Justin Pomplin. Standby camera one. Coming in on camera in five, four, three, two, one. Take camera one. SPTV News serves Stevens Point, the largest city in Portage County and home to 26,000 people. SPTV News covers campus, local, and national news, as well as local sports and entertainment. Melissa Mitrovic will present you the latest in Point News. Tune in to Charter Channel 983 or visit our YouTube channel. SPTV News, pointing to you. Got an itch to be on air? Join the SPTV News crew. Being an on and off air reporter will help you gain experience in interviewing, shooting and editing video, and reporting behind the anchor desk. Join SPTV News, pointing to you. I'm Curtis Round. this is Adam Yurkovsky and Justin Poplin. If you enjoy our final take show, make sure you tune in every week to stay up to date on Stevens Point Sports. Remember pointers, anything pointers, anything sports. Don't let the snow and cold get you down this winter. The frozen tundra outside may keep you indoors, but here at SPTV, we'll still be getting you the best news, sports coverage, and entertainment that you need. Don't freeze your fingers and toes off to find out what's happening around campus. Stay warm, everyone. And now, Noble Rudman with your latest in SPTV Entertainment. Yeah. 
The Point Pitches are not the first a cappella group on campus, but they are the first female group. The a cappella club that the university started happened last semester, or not last semester, two semesters ago. And um, they began the first male a cappella group, which is on point, and then we joined last semester. So we're, it's pretty new overall. This is the group's second semester in existence. They spent the first semester preparing and organizing. They now have the momentum to start performing. This is probably like the first real semester that we're trying to get stuff more off the ground. Like last semester was more kind of planning, figuring out what our I guess, vision was, uh, getting like our rules kind of guidelines together and setting up, uh, I guess basically just like the foundations of our group. And now we're kind of gonna get to put stuff into practice more. Group membership is up after holding auditions this past Sunday. We had auditions um, Sunday, and we like got seven new people. So there are nine of us, like older people, and seven youngins. <laughs> <laughs> Current members are hoping that the group lasts for a while. I don't know. I'd like it to last until, uh, like, to last past us being here. That'd be kind of cool like carried on. The Point Pitches are striving to perform more and achieve greater visibility on campus. For SPTV, I'm Noble Runman. My name is Julia Flaherty. I'm the current promotions director at SBTV. My job allows for me to have a lot of personal creative direction because that is the team environment that we instill here at SBTV. This past summer, I had the opportunity to write for hercampus.com as well as thedailyquirk.com. Personally, I feel that being involved with SBTV has really helped boost my confidence and my ability to network with other students. If Student media is something that interests you, and even if you're not really sure what student media means, you should stop by our studios. We are looking forward to having you involved this year, and we cannot wait to make media with you. How can you get involved with student media at UWSP? Connecting with your campus television station, SBTV, is easy. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Follow us on Vine, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Pinterest, follow us on Instagram, or connect with us on Google+. But of course, the best way for you to get involved and stay up to date with all that is happening at our station is to stop by our studio. We're located in the Communication Arts Center at UWSP, Studio B, Room 121. You can also drop by our office, Room 130, for more information on station happenings. We can't wait to get you involved. Come join us at SPTV. Let's make media together.
all of the music's here on PMTV Late Night. Catch PMTV running all night long only on SPTV. Let's have a party. Let's have a If you enjoy our final take show, make sure you tune in every week to stay up to date on Stevens Point Sports. Remember, pointers, anything pointers, anything sports. How can you get involved with student media at UWSP? Connecting with your campus television station, SBTV, is easy. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Vine, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Pinterest, follow us on Instagram, or connect with us on Google+. But of course, the best way for you to get involved and stay up to date with all that is happening at our station is to stop by our studio. We're located in the Communication Arts Center at UWSP, Studio B, Room 121. You can also drop by our office, Room 130, for more information on station happenings. We can't wait to get you involved. Come join us at SPTV. Let's make media together. Be a part of something super Greek at UWSP. There are nine chapters and colonies on campus. Phi Sigma Phi, Gamma Phi Delta, Theta Xi, Sigma Delta Rho, Sigma Tau Gamma, Delta Phi Epsilon, Tau Kappa Epsilon, Phi Mu Alpha Sinfonia, and Phi Omega. Greek life at UWSP is a great way to build your personal support system and resume. With Greek life at UWSP, you won't just be a member, but a happy friend to the chapters and colonies for life. See what opportunities Greek life could offer you. Great opportunity to promote leadership, a great way to get connections, and also to build bonds between different groups. You get the opportunity to grow yourself as a leader and as a person, both through your organization and connections through inner Greek council and other avenues like that. Greek life isn't what you see in the movies. I recommend checking out one of the recruitment events for the organizations and just seeing maybe you belong there. Hey you! Are you creative? Do you like television? Would you like to make a show that appears on air? Then SBTV is the place for you. At SBTV, you can appear on air, learn how to shoot and edit video, write and produce your own show, and most importantly, gain skills and experiences that will last a lifetime. Want to join us at SBTV? Come check us out in the Communication Arts Center rooms 121 and 130. We'd love to meet you. SBTV, let's make media together.